Hi everyone, it is Amy with Dragon's Bit Apothecary. Thank you for joining me on April 9th, 2021 for our Friday Oils and Oracle. If you're new here, welcome. So every Friday and every full moon of, of the month, I do a, a Oils and Oracle reading. So I pull Oracle cards and we talk about what the card is. And then I recommend some essential oils to kind of support the reading. So I only recommend oils that I personally use and have experience with. Um, I'm a pretty brand loyal person, so the only oils that I use is doTERRA. Um, if you use another brand, that's fine. I just, um, you know, will only recommend ones that I personally had experience with, and I'll let you know how I use them. Um, so just, you know, kind of keep that in mind as you're, sorry, I've been outside, my hair is sticking up. Oh, how crazy. Um, but anyway, just letting you know that that's kind of how I I do things because I wouldn't want to recommend something that I haven't personally had experience with. Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards because it's Friday and we got one for this weekend, we got one for next week, and we got one from the universe. Okay, and I am using the Wild Offering card deck this week. You know, these really beautiful inscripted cards that just have some really nice sayings about them to guide us. So the first card I'm pulling is the one for this weekend and it is the card of intention. And this card says an intention is simply allowing the will and the mind to align and move in harmony. May I always focus on the highest. Um, my attention is that all of God's wishes for me come true. Okay. So what this card is telling us is to allow harmony into our life. Look for those things that flow naturally between our heart and our mind and see the bigger picture of life. Okay, sometimes we get really stuck in the forest and we can't see the trees, right? So this card is saying, set your intentions on the bigger picture and move in alignment and harmony for what's right for you. Now, I have aligned three oils for this. Um, they're all doTERRA blends because they just really spoke to the, really spoke well of this idea of intention and heart moving intentionally with harmony in your life. So. The first two I, I put together because you either like one or the other. And the first one I put was elevate because it kind of helps, you know, with those feelings of seeing the bigger picture, rising above, moving forward in a, in a way of grace. And then the other one I put together with it was motivate. Motivate is a very energizing, uplifting, um, and it has a lot of the same elements that elevate has to it right they can work complementary together you're elevated and you're motivated and you're seeking that harmony right okay the other oil i put with this was the doTERRA peace and this is from their aroma, emotional aromatherapy lineup and peace is a really great oil for that calming so if you're thinking about how to get more harmony and flow between your heart and your mind sometimes we have to let go of the to take a deeper breath and level set on a higher purpose and the messaging that is coming through that channel okay and that obviously can create some harmony and flow in your life as well so there you have it for this weekend we need to focus on harmony and flow and the intentions for that in our life all right this next one and i think it ties in very nicely with this intention card but the card for next week is divine timing and I'll, I'll tell you what this one says. The divine brings things into in the timing that we need. Nothing comes before we're prepared. No leaves too early. May I always trust your perfect and holy timing, dear Lord. So what this card is saying, it's, you know, a lot of times we have to hurry up and wait, right? That's one scenario. Or we're super impatient. And it happens, right? Because we live in a very instant gratification society. We're used to things at our fingertips very fast response of things. And when that doesn't happen, it's very easily to escalate it into frustration and giving up and not trusting the process. And, you know, if you think back to the first card when we're talking about harmony and flow and alignment between our heart and our head, we can get really impatient with that because it's a lot of work. It's not a five minute fix and you need some time to kind of marinate on it, right? <laughs> 
So, you know, being patient, learning perfect timing, aligning with that aspect of it, and, and seeing how things unfold more naturally, okay? So with this one, I put two doTERRA blends and then a, a single oil with it. So the two blends I put were Balance and Serenity. Both of those are doTERRA proprietary. Oh, good Lord. Proper, <laughs> I can't say it. They are doTERRA blends, um, specially formulated. So Balance is a very centering and balancing oil. It grounds you in present um, thinking, being mindful, appreciating, you know, kind of where you are in the moment. Serenity, I call this one, you've heard me say it before, if you've been with me a while, Lavender's Big Sister. It is a very calming, um, beautiful blend. It has some lavender in it, but it has a lot of other oils too that really kind of give it that calm, serenity type experience. It's wonderful. Using balance and serenity together in a diffuser or on your wrist, on your heart is wonderful. It is totally wonderful. So, and they do together work really well with creating this idea of patience, okay? Now, the other oil I put with this is frankincense. Of course, when you're thinking anything divine, and certainly with divine timing, frankincense comes to mind because it is obviously the king of oils. There's a lot of references to it in biblical sense. Um, but frankincense is also good at helping us just treasure the moment is kind of the best way to describe this oil. And I personally like to wear frankincense as kind of a perfume alternative because it just has a really nice aromatic uh, woody kind of aroma and it's very unique. Um, but it also, when I notice when I wear it in that way, I do feel more patient. I'm more patient when I'm standing in the grocery store at checkout line. I'm more patient when I'm in the school line. You know, I just it seem to have just a, a more peaceful nature about me. Okay, so that's next week. Trust the timing. Okay, third card, and this is from the universe, is the card of relationships. Now, this card says, I call in the infinite power of love to take over this union in every way. May it now fully belong to the divine. Let it unfold in the perfect way for each of us. I need in fear of letting go of control because my needs are always abundantly met. Okay, so what this card says is let go of trying to control everything in your relationships and let it flow. Now, again, you know, we talk about harmony and flow. We've talked about divine timing. If this really relates to you when it comes to relationships, I think all these three really dovetail nicely together, right? But it also applies to you individually. Because if you're trying to create more harmony and flow in your life, you got to trust the timing of the work that it's going to take to put into that. And the relationship with yourself is one of the most beautiful relationships that you can foster and develop. Okay, so it ties to us individually, as much as it talks about our relationship with another person, um, with nature, with God, whatever, you know, the relationship in your mind this speaks to. Okay, so the three oils that I put with this one, neroli, jasmine, and um, geranium. Okay, three flower oils. Now, neroli is really good at supporting like anxiousness or, you know, feeling antsy or that need to incessantly kind of control things because they're not moving to your liking or they're not happening. You know, you kind of feel the butterfly in your stomach kind of feeling. Neroli is really good at that. Okay. And it's, it's actually an orange blossom um, based from that, but it's, so it's got a little bit of citrus. Um, I like to call it positive energy. You know, it's uplifting in that way, but more than anything, it kind of helps with that nervousness or that abundant energy that is restless. Okay. Jasmine and geranium. I'm going to talk about these together. So jasmine, again, a very fragrant oil. A lot of us know that as a, a perfume type of oil. It's a high feminine card um, that talks a lot about love, okay? And, you know, it, it is a, a love oil that's kind of based really close to rose in a lot of ways when it talks about love. But when you think about the relationship with yourself, Jasmine is very helpful in that healing that and helping us open our own heart, okay? So it's a beautiful oil for that. 
Now, geranium is another, of course, flower. It's a feminine card, uh, I'm sorry, feminine oil. And it too is more about helping us um, come into our own feminine power. And oftentimes in relationships, we as women or, you know, tend to take the more submissive role in the relationship, right? And having that more equal balance is sometimes hard to establish as a result. Geranium helps kind of build that feminine confidence to bring things in balance and bring things more from a feminine point of view so that they're still really feeling good and, you know, surrounding us with love and support, but it's more balanced instead of submissive type experience. Okay. So that's our cards for April 9th. I hope that helped you. If you have questions, you can reach out to me um, through the comments on this video, or you can go over to dragonspinapothecary.com. There's a live chat over there. I'm happy to help you with anything related to the oils and oracles or the, the personal oils that I use and recommend through these readings. And until next time, I will talk to you then. Bye.